Hello everyone, this is uh, Jasic20. And um... It's time to play Little Nightmares. Uh, this game my sister really loves. And I think I got it for like... Three bucks? During a Steam sale? I forget. I just remember getting it for like, dirt cheap. Um... And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run it at the highest settings possible. As you do. Let me quickly go through controls again, because... Right, I'm not using a controller. Should I set up a controller? Anybody that's played this, should I set up a controller? I do like how you flick the stick to uh, open the lighter. I think that's kind of cute. That's clever. Um, but it's using Xbox controls, which is not my forte. Hey, you got a fentanyl ad. Hey! I'm not going to help these people who are overdosing on fentanyl. Instead, I hope they die so that they don't become my problem. Because the quicker they die, the less painful it's going to be for everyone else. Just saying. You can call me cold-hearted for saying that, but you know I'm not wrong. Alright. Empty. The floor will be... Painted? Empty! Empty! I'm gonna text my sister and let her know I'm playing this. Jasic approves of euthanasia. Neat. <laughs> That's a neat little cutscene. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that cutscene? She's trying to figure out her Twitch right now, so she's probably going to be joining here soon. Fuck. Alt-tabbing, like, alt-tabs the game. Oh, God. That's going to get annoying. Why couldn't they not do that? That's stupid. Okay, WASD. Also, okay. I see. I like how they have animations for the camera pan. I do like that. That's really neat. Um. Okay, shift is run. Crouch is, uh, slide and... Hold on. What is grab? Grab is left mouse. Okay. There we go. But yeah, my sister really likes this game. Apparently it's really short too. Like four hours or so. So I might be able to do it in one night. I don't know. I'll have to find out. gonna break isn't it no oh, I thought it was gonna break oh that I can open can I not open that I guess not
I can't jump. Oh, what's that? That's probably gonna kill me. Oh, it's just a pot. Okay. Can I pick it up? I can. And you can break it. <laughs> I don't know if you were supposed to break it. But let me just pretend that I was. Those are probably collectibles. I'm guessing you have to smash them intentionally. That's... There's something in that window there. Of that door. It is a collectible? Okay. So I was right. Can't pull that. Can I pull this one? Nope. Cannot. Like, I just have a feeling that you can, like, use one of these to get water. But there's so many of these everywhere. Oh, that would be her. How's it going? <laughs> oh, that would be her. Chicken. Um, somebody is hanging out, literally. <laughs> somebody died here. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look. It's half the population of 4chan. Get it? I'm so funny. Okay, there's gotta be... Like, can I pick this up? Am I not able to pick up the letter? No, I can't. Okay. Looks like there's something over there. Looks like it was a bear market for crypto bros. Yeah, for real. You can make so many jokes with that. Hey guys, look, it's uh it's that one girl from uh Doki Doki Literature Club. I forget her name. Probably because the only girl I liked in that game was uh Yuri. <laughs> Hey, look, it's Epstein. Yeah, it's Epstein, guys. Definitely didn't kill himself. Am I supposed to pull the chair? Hold on. Don't tell me I'm supposed to pull the chair. Oh, hell no. You can pull you can push the chair. I don't know, Andrew. Alright, puzzles seem simple enough. I don't know what that black tar heroin is on the ground, but it's... I just saw something run away there. Is that a body? Sure as hell looks like it. Is there nothing back there? No, it doesn't look like it. He must have been testifying against Boeing. Yeah, he was probably a Boeing whistleblower, let's be honest. Alright, there's something there. Is there anything back here? Doesn't look like it. I don't know what that fridge is for. I feel like I'm going to miss a lot of shit and just not know about it. 
I feel like that's gonna... Oh. Hi. I don't know who you are. But you seem to be friendly. So that's cool. Reminds me of my Doom playthrough. Yeah. But with Doom, like, you had a map and you could actually see all the shit. I will say the visuals are pretty nice. The shadows definitely are uh, good looking in this game. What is the fridge for? In my defense, Your Honor, I hate maps. Learn to appreciate them. Visuals in the second game are even better. Yeah, no, I just love the I just love the shading effects. The shading effects are really nice. Am I allowed to pull this? No. What happens if I go in here? Nothing? I feel like something is being hidden from me from my focal point of view. And I need to find out what what is being hidden, hidden from my point of view. I'm also surprised this is a Bandai Namco game. Like, you know, the company that makes Tekken and, uh, weeb shit. No, no, they also make, uh, they also make this game. Was rather impressed when I, when I heard about that. Nothing back there. What's with the black tar heroin? Oh, you actually do leave, like, footprints. A little bit. It's very negligible, but you can see it. Don't tell me this is a subtle detail kind of game. Oh, it is. It is. They have a bunch of, like, subtle details on the ground that you can see. I swear, it's gotta be in this box. Am I going insane? Because I don't see anything else here. I already pulled this open. Sounds like the compressor is gone on that thing. Go in the hole. Me when I play golf. Go in the hole. Nothing back here. Can't climb that. Oh, I can. What the hell? I wasn't able to a minute ago. You want to? You want to give me a hint? Because I'm assuming this is some sort of save point. Nothing there. Climb the fridge. How do you climb it, though? Because all I did was wall jump off it. Mario style. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't know that's how that worked. Okay. Now I know that that is, in fact, a thing you can do. Ladders do exist in this game, albeit they're very unorthodox. Alright. Leeches. Is that another leech? Oh, there's a lot of them.
perfect. Okay, I made it. Ooh. This reminds me of Amnesia, which I literally just played, where you have to pull floorboards out. Or not floorboards, but like wood bars like nailed into the walls. Oh, it's another one of those guys. Shit! Now I'm covered in black tar heroin. Ah, oh, shit. And that's my first death. I could not see anything. Cool. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of them. <laughs> that was a lot of leeches. So anytime I hit one of those, that's a save point. Good to know. That's a dead end. Wait, hold on. Nope, nothing over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't you cosplay as a, as the main protagonist game? Sosha? I sw it was either you or I found a cosplay of one and I sent it to you. It was one of the two. Also, I'm I'm it's heavily implied that we're on a boat, given the ricketiness of it. Mono from the second game. Got it. All right, there we go. Oh. Okay, so you got a haul fucking ass over there. All right, gotcha. Can I even make that jump? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Hell yeah. Are those guys collectibles as well, running into them, or do they just exist? Because I already destroyed a statue, or some sort of, like, pottery thing. Anything down here? Nope. Uh oh. What the fuck? Oh boy. That is a monster. Of some sort. What? Hey! hey. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, back up the rope. That's what I get for holding W for a second too long. Jeez, game. Uh, what? I didn't even...
Dude, these controls are a bit whack. I'm not gonna lie. Chief, the controls are a bit whack. Oh, I'm on keyboard. I'm on keyboard, so I'll let you figure that out. Say point. Rat. Rat and electricity. Oh. I'm not going to go walk into that. Control was easier for sure. I'll live. I played uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance on keyboard. I think I'll live. Hold on. No, it doesn't electrocute it. Damn, I'm sad now. Alright, there's some sort of, uh... Let me push the door. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, I assume this is going to be my footstool. Yeah? These puzzles seem very simple. Almost too simple. Ah, it's a timer. Now I assume I'm gonna have to counterweight this, yeah? Get up on there, please. There we go. Get up. Nice. What do I do with this? It plays music. Physics engine, my beloved. Casually an ashtray. Can I get can I get killed by the train? No, but I can break it. Oh, I broke the train. <laughs> <laughs> I broke the train. I broke the train. How dare I? I'm a terrible human being. Alright, now... Wait. Hold on. No, it's still electrically charged. Not that fuse box up there, is it? I hope not. Bad ending, train broken. It's like that- it's like that one text box that appears in what- what is it, uh... Elder Scrolls 3? Or Elder Scrolls 4? Where it's like, the- the- the timeline of fate has been severed. You restart from a previous save or continue in a doom timeline or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that text just starts popping up. Okay, too far in that direction. I have to do like a 90 degree jump off of this seesaw. Never played Elder Scrolls? Okay. I would recommend Skyrim. Or if your name is Vic, uh, Oblivion. I know you like Oblivion, Vic. I don't know if you're still watching, but I know you like that game.
Doom Eternal was your first Bethesda game? I'm genuinely shocked by that. I'm like, I'm actually kind of impressed by that. For, for multiple reasons. Because usually, like, Fallout New Vegas was, like, Baby's first Bethesda game. Or Skyrim was Baby's first Bethesda game. Or even Fallout 4. Okay. Nope. Probably one of their best. Eternal was definitely a solid game, but it was also made by id, not by BG, uh, BGS. Bethesda Game Softworks, I believe is what they're called, is a very shitty company. Uh, they're the ones that officially made Skyrim, and I believe... Uh, I believe the Elder Scrolls franchise as a whole. But Skyrim is just, like, laughably bad, but it's so bad it's good. And plus, it's actually... A lot of the stuff is well made. It's just a buggy fucking mess. I have yet to play Skyrim without encountering some funny bug. It's like Cyberpunk, except the bugs never get fixed. Yeah, because... Well, uh, you say that, but then there was... um. Arcane Studios, I believe is what they're called, which made Dishonored, which was a really good franchise. Really good franchise. Yeah, Obsidian made New Vegas. Um, but, um, and it made the Doom franchise. Little Nightmares. Hi, Rhyme Ray. How's it going? I'm trying to get back on that seesaw. Or on this, uh, swing. Ah! I did it. What kind of physics was that? I just did like some sort of side jump from Ocarina of Time there. And just yeeted myself. Your train is destroyed. This is my train now. I am the Godzilla. What? I did it again. I teleported. Guys. Did I mention how good I am at breaking games? Did I mention how good I am at doing that? Because I'm really good at doing it. I'm really good at bugging games out. Example A. And example B. How do I swing these, though? I want you to swing. I can't make them swing, and I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I don't know if they're supposed to swing. Can I not climb up? I can't. The hell? No, I literally can't climb up. It prevents me from doing so. A lot of building blocks with eyes on them. I mean, that is kind of the logo. Some of them are closed and some of them are open. It kind of looks like the Brazil logo a little bit. Or the uh, Brazil flag a little bit. Who's this guy? 
Oh, hold on. I'm looking up. Oh wait, is that is that my way back? Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I understand it now. This is a two-room puzzle. Let's see if I'm right. Can I get back through there? Oh god damn it. My guess is I use the seesaw, go through a hole in the wall there to the previous room, and I did that. I did not just do that, but I did. Yep, okay. So I have to pull the lever and run like hell. Got it. Got it. All right. I was thinking in the room. I wasn't thinking outside the room. I don't like seeing all these doors. I have a feeling I'm going to be back here sometime soon. I... Oh... I see. The light burns me. Got it. <laughs> I thought that was instant death, but I guess not. Cool. Very interesting. Oh, it's another guy in the cage there. That's why there's so many scorched bodies there. Holy hell. Now, how do I climb this? No, I just climb it. Okay. Perfect. I guess I'm safer now. Because I'm under it instead of, like, you know, out in its range. Question is, what door do I open? If I even open one. Which I seem to not do. Can't open that one either. My guess is it's that door that the light the light is shining on. Nope. Neat. Damn. Oh, it freezes you, so it's like Medusa. Ah, turns you into stone. That's totally not fucking creepy. Mike, that's not Boo's door. I know it's yours. <laughs> Literally Ash Baby. The one looks like Ash Baby. You know you know the AI generated image of a baby crying and it looks like a pile of ashes? Literally Ash Baby.
the babies in this game? No, I don't think so. I guess I have to cut those down somehow. How? I have no clue. Oh, sometimes it's unpredictable. Interesting. Yeah, I have no clue where to go from here. Oh, shit. Got a bit too fast there. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Yeah, basically, if you don't like somebody, you can turn them into a block of stone. You're a stone, Luigi! So, yeah, none of these doors do anything. But I guarantee you monsters are going to come out of them sometime. Your unpredictability is throwing me off, buddy. All right, I'm safe. For now. What if it's over here? No, it's not here. I have no clue where to go from here. Am I supposed to push the bed forward? I don't know. Barely made that. Nothing over here. Do I have to just climb this mountain of, uh, boxes? I guess. Do I have to make this jump? Am I going to be able to make that jump even? Probably not. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, hold on. No, you can't even... You can't go up past that. Hmm. There's got to be some way to disengage that rope up there. And my guess is that somehow does something. I don't know. Uh, Twitter hunting down the last unradicalized child. Real. Yeah, I can't go past that. It doesn't allow me to climb. Oh, hold on. I have to somehow get up to that. Oh, th these are ladders. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. It took me that long to realize you can climb the mesh. Holy shit. The ladders are in not so obvious places. And I don't think about them as ladders. Great. Oh, no. This bitch.
This is where the horror part comes in. I see. Cool. Very spoopy. What are all these children doing here? Are they here to uh, do VR training on them? To turn them into cyborgs? Wait, wrong game. Wrong game. I'm fucking invincible, Jack. <laughs> Kids are cruel, Jack. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that a rat I just heard? Yup. Rat. What? Hungry? I'm gonna assume. And this is where I die. Oh, never mind. Cutscene time? Tears up that piece of bread or whatever that was. Thank you, random silhouette, for being kind. I almost completely avoided that uh, opening there. It has poison, lol. Yeah, it probably is. It's poisoned bread. <laughs> Let's be real. I've seen that before. <laughs> Can't pull that. Hey guys, look. It's the thing 4chan loves. Look at that. It's the thing 4chan loves, guys. Now just insert your average 4chan user or redditor into there, and boom! <laughs> You're gonna hear me use that, uh, that joke a lot. Circle of life, circle of death. Why are there so many cages? What the hell? That's gonna fall and kill me. I do not understand why there's so many cages. I require context. This is where those lost kids went. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of uh, instead of getting sent to Mexico, to some underground lab to be uh, brain trained, um, <laughs> they get they get sent to these uh, giant metal cages and get treated like animals. What the fuck, dude? I don't know who bought. No, I I think I bought Metal Gear Rising myself. But to everybody that kept forcing me to play that game, that was a really solid game. I loved it. It was really solid. Oh, I made it. Oh my god. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Never mind. Oh, I can, I can still climb it. Good. Wait, I can climb the chain? 
My legs are broken. Some something, some something. There will be wheel, wheel, chair. This is going to break, isn't it? No. It has a pulley. I'm not going to lie, Maxor got me to play it. Maxor is very good at convincing people to play stupid games. Did he also convince you to play Doom Eternal? Oh my god, I almost missed that. Because he also convinced you to play, uh, what is it, Cruelty Squad, which is just literally uh, a, a migraine simulator. You gotta admit, though, his editing style is on point. His editing style is amazing. Can't move that. I can move that, though. That's all the way left. Hold on. Oh, I can let go of it. I see. So what happens if I do just a slight lean? Well, not like that, idiot. I have to re recalibrate it, but I think I know what I have to do here. Without jumping off would be nice. Without jumping off would be very nice. Alright. Oh, there we go. And now we wait. Sounds like a train. Am I supposed to make that jump? That does not look like a jump I can make. Actually, no. Chain exists. This chain exists for a reason. Use it. Perfect. I keep forgetting the chain is climbable. Filing cabinet stairs. I'm gonna assume right away that's what I need to do. What? I see. So, this one is jammed somehow. That one is jammed. Ah, shit. I did not mean to do that. But I'm gonna guess... Nope, I can't do that. At least I don't think I can. Nope, I can. Alright. Lovely. That's jammed. Alright, and now I have to pray that I get this jump. Okay, it was very generous to me on that, but it counts. It was a bit too generous for me, honestly. I have a f 
feeling there's something in this room. Be it something that wants me dead, or a save point, or something else. Hey, I was right. There's a save point. There's one of these guys. And he backtracked this way. Which is rather odd. That's odd. You just stand there. Menacingly. You have any idea why Twitch has the Instagram story feature now? They've had it for a couple months. I got an email about it like six months ago. I'm not a 13 year old white girl. So that's not my forte. But I'm aware it exists. Discord exists for a reason. What's up here? Nothing? Nothing. Dead. I'm dead. Yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> okay. Neat. At least the deaths are, uh, fair? No, they're not. Don't tell me I have to go all the way back up. Do not tell me I have to go all the way back up. Oh, shit. Leeches. Damn it. You can't get anywhere close to them. Was I supposed to fall there? Genuinely, was I supposed to fall there? I didn't think I was, but alright. Oh, I guess I kind of was. I have a feeling. It's gonna be some way up there, because those are all mesh. Nope, I guess not. That's not openable, it doesn't seem. Oh great, it's one of these guys again. Lol. It focuses on the thing. Damn it. Unfortunate. I gotta be quicker than that. Thankfully, uh, death in this game is very generous. <laughs> Huzzah! Victory Screech. I have a feeling there's going to be something over here. Just... Just a feeling I got. That something is about to happen. And if this means what I think it means, we're in trouble. Big trouble! And if he's as bananas as you say, I'm not taking any chances. Well, that's interesting.
I made it. Oh, it's more of you guys that are scared of me for some reason. Well, that's uh, the prison done, I guess, because I just got the prison achievement. How many le how many chapters are there, if I may ask? Because that took just under an hour. It's another one. At least one. Yeah, haha. Ha, very funny. Very funny, smartass. No, it doesn't break. Lame. I was hoping it would shatter. Boring. Me gatekeeping if a lantern decides to, uh, decides to explode or not. Sound like a demon, a demonic cat meowing. Holy hell! That is a way forward. I just can't tell how to open that. From this angle. I'm going to go back up the stairwell. If I can even see, please. Nope. You can't rotate that. Can't pull it. getting darker up here. Climb up. Nope. Climb up there. I assume this is my way forward. More cone heads. Is it a ball? It is a ball. It's a bouncy ball. We play with those in SCP. We... I spawn five million bouncy balls to kill everyone in SCP. You should try it with this one simple trick. Alright, I need to pull the briefcase over here. Through finally, I'm excited to finally have benefits in my job. You didn't have health benefits in your job? Until now? Oh my god, dude. You work for the fucking government. How did you not have benefits? That's like the first thing they give you. The hell? That's actually crazy. What's TSP again? I don't know why, but when I hear TSP, I think total surge protection, which is definitely not right. It had a glorified paid internship before. That's dumb, dude. At least now you're getting paid, like, getting... Oh, hey, another collector's item. Sosha, what are, the, what are these dolls even for? Do I just throw them? Hi, Daniel. How's it going? Can I pull the plunger? Oh! Okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna jump off and kill myself, but I guess not. I have a feeling this key is gonna be unironically useful. I, 
get nearly double the pay? Oh, dude, that's fucking lit. That's lit, dude. And I assume, given that this is the government, this is, like, no small feat, either. Especially when you live in California. Basically, what you made before, your salary before, is basically what you make now, but without tax. That's the way I would see it, at least. Because I know California has, like, what, a 10%, 20%? Like, it's, it's a much higher income tax than federal, that's for sure. But damn, coming to it knowing the story was boring as fuck. Ah, the puzzles are simple. The puzzles are pretty simple. One benefit of being in the world's most expensive place to live, we get the highest government pay bump. Oh shit, you're right. I hate to ask that kind of shit, T-Lord, but I'm I'm guessing you're probably close to six figures now, if not if not six figures. Which if so, congratulations, dude. I'm proud of you. That's definitely fucking nice to have. Getting close, yeah, I, that's what I figure. But still, like my point is, like say you've gone from fifty to ninety K salary. That's amazing. That is Damn good. So I'm proud of you, dude. Alright, nothing there. Hell, I'd be fine with getting paid 50 for <laughs> to just do anything, man. Like I'm just I'm just making a guess here, but like still proud of you, dude. What? Oh. You can Grab those boards for some reason. Oh, because... I see. Can't climb the... Um... Oh, wait. I need the monkey. Hello, monkeys! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hello, monkeys! There we go. Oh, dude. I, I, I totally am with you on that. But if you know all the answers, it just bores you, so I never finished it. That's fair. I'm not a huge horror gu guy either, but I just finished Amnesia the Bunker, and that game was a pretty good horror game. Really good horror, like a survival horror meets uh, basically It's basically a Zelda randomizer, but also a horror game. It's kind of cool, actually. I liked it. Am I hungry again? This bitch hungry. Has been getting job scares with the AI bubble collapsing. I feel like half of those are full of shit though. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna eat that. No, no, what the fuck? Ew. Ew. Hell nah. <laughs> Hell nah. Oh shit. <laughs> Another kid in a cage. Funny how we both left college to enter a recession. Damn, that fucking blows, dude. That fucking blows. I I graduate high school to enter a recession, and that's why I don't. Uh, that's why I haven't gone to college. Because nah, bro, I ain't doing that. <laughs>
Bingo. I feel like this game is just an IQ test. If you solve the... If, like, your IQ is above 100 if you know how to, uh... Solve each solution within 10 seconds. I don't know. Not to line it up right. I don't know how lined up this is, but I guess we'll find out together. I have no perspective on the y-axis right now. I have perspective on the x and the z, but no y. No y-axis perspective. And it's absolutely fucking with my brain right now. Okay, <laughs> it's closer. Or farther, farther away. Oh, so it's like right here. Okay. Great thing about FEMA is two to three years of government work at any GSL can get you in. For my first and current job there, the initial bar for entry was three years of government work or a batch degree. Yeah, no, that's the thing. You can cheat college. You can cheat wasting $100,000 on college by getting a job that you're blessed to get. It's just really hard to get said job. But if you get it... Mmm. I see. But if you get it, you don't have to spend a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars on college. Oh! It's a swing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Community college is a great way to save a shitload of money. Because you can easily get your two-year, which I believe is a bachelor, um, there. And most uh, most local schools will allow you to transfer said bachelor to a uh, four-year school. Um, like my local community college, Frederick Community College, it's associates. Okay, point is, you can get your associates transferred over to like my from my local community college to the University of Maryland for example uh, which that'll save you like a hundred thousand dollars right there because uh, you're not taking two years of UMD you're not having to live in College Park which is a ghetto um, a frat ghetto uh, and you don't have to deal with DC traffic which is amazing that's always a plus it's always a plus not dealing with DC traffic always you can never tell me otherwise An associate's a minor in a batch? I've never heard of a batch degree. Oh, 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 bachelor's degree. I'm sorry. You said B-A-T-C-H, and I'm like, what? Are you okay? <laughs> like, what's a batch? And then I was like, oh, bachelor's degree without the T. <laughs> you absolutely fucked with my brain there. Thanks. So now I'm stuck in this room. Hold on. Aha. Wall jump may be required. Fuck student housing. The housing alone cost her 15k. Cost here. Cost my sister 15k a quarter. Dude. That's, that's California for you. That's California for you. That's disgusting, by the way. That is disgusting prices for housing. 5k a month is disgusting. What the fuck is he doing? I assume I don't want to be seen. Oh shit. My entire degree costs less than my sister's first year of college. That's sad. What the hell, man? That's sad. I don't know how he didn't see me. I was right there. Yeah, college is a waste of money. It's a scam. 
You're a cheap fucker dude, T-Lord. You and I should just, like, T-Lord, move to Maryland. We'll live together. And you'll just never see me buy anything. The only thing I'll buy is gasoline <laughs> for my car. Oh, shit, dude. I just, I just, I'm allergic to spending money. I'm allergic to spending money. Being a cheap bastard is a trait that you should have, especially in today's day and age with this rapid consumption. Go to grocery outlet. My dad goes to Little, um, uh, Weg, not Wegmans, uh, what's the, uh, Walgreens. But he goes to a couple different places and does, uh, keep and does couponing. I guess I'm safe here for now. I grew up with my parents when they were in college. I grew up appreciating the frugal life. Damn, your parents were in college when they had you? Okay, I hate to sound mean when I say this. Irresponsible pregnancy or happenstance or what? I'm curious. Or they just wanted a kid during college. I'm, <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. Because that's typically an accident. It's typically never done intentionally. No idea. I honestly don't want to know. That's fair. Oh, fuck. He's following me? Oh, hell nah, man. I hate to ask shit like that, T-Lord. I really do. It's just I'm genuinely curious. Apparently, Russia sued Google for 2.5 decillion. No, it is true. It is true. Uh, RT, the Russia Today, the, you know, that green block with the black letters RT, that's a Russian news channel. Um, they've stated that. It was, a, uh, like, the only reason I know about that is because of a meme. It's funny how memes provide better news than news sites. It's actually funny and kind of sad how that's true. News sites... Are, are worse at giving you news than memes are. Accident or not, I'm glad he's a professional ice hater. We need more of him mainly for my own personal agendas to push. Oh, good. I've contemplated it before. I just don't know if I'm ready for the answer yet. That's fair. I was just curious, man. Never, never tried to sound rude about it. I was just, like... During college, why would you have a kid? Oh. I see. He's a child collector. That sounds really wrong, but he's a child collector. I see. The cloth is stealthy. The wood is not. Bro needs to meditate, meditate in ice for a hundred years for the answer. The good thing is my parents are almost empty nesters in their 40s. Everyone they know is just starting with their kids. Yeah, dude, that's that's good. I, I bet they feel proud. My dad's almost an empty nester. He has to deal with me. And my mom's going to be an empty nester soon. Um, she still is my sister. But, um, yeah, no. Parents are starting to feel happy about empty nesting. I'll be... <laughs> they're, they're, we're definitely going to be missed. Damn it. So I just got to run there. I got to run there. So he's blind. He's blind. But he has a good sense of sound. Blind dog. Okay. Treat this fucker like he's 939. Holy hell, dude. 
He got arms. He got arms, dude. He got no legs, but he got arms. He got like six foot arms. Are those triple jointed arms? Like he's got an like he's got an elbow, a second elbow, and a shoulder. What? Bro got the lanky lankiest hands on the fucking planet, dude. There is no person or organization in the world with net worth in billions, at least I think so. No, there are a couple. Apple, Google, um, pretty sure Intel, pretty sure NVIDIA. A lot of the big tech companies have net worths in the billions. I don't think any of them have eclipsed a hundred billion. I don't think any of them have eclipsed 25 billion. But um, I think a couple of them are 10 billion or close to it. Or or is it no? Is it trillion? I might be getting billion and trillion confused. When 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 the number is that big, human the human brain can't comprehend it. Um, either way, they both have a massive amount of money, and suing for what is it? Two point five decillion dollars? That's never gonna happen. A Google doesn't do their services in Russia anymore because, well, it's Russia. Putin kind of has his regime well planted on not allowing Western propaganda in and instead peddling his own. That's just how it is. His regime is very anti-West. Now, could you move away, buddy? Okay, so it's two trillion. I'm getting billion and trillion mixed up then. Mr. Putin. Oh no, I, I I think Putin's an absolute dickhead. I I you I won't be the I won't be the last to say that. I'll <laughs> I'll definitely be one of the first two. But then then again, you could call all politicians that, and you'd be right. What am I supposed to... Can't grab that. This is a crankshaft. The cillion is a thousand trillion? No. No, 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 no. Alright, I'm gonna stop you right there. Um, big number. Big number time for everyone. Million is first, which is a thousand thousand. Billion is is next, which is a thousand million trillion. So it's me, by tri, quad, quint, hex, sept, oct, uh, non, and des. Those are basically Latin prefixes for, you know, two through ten. That's why December is December, because it used to be the tenth month until two fucking, uh. Emperor, uh, Roman emperors decide to be self inserts. Yes, so a de uh, one decillion is one thousand nonillion. I believe that's the right word, which is a million octillion. <laughs> you see where I'm getting in here? Do you see where I'm getting? We're we're talking thirty zeros, <laughs> maybe thirty three. I can't remember. Point is. The human brain can't comprehend numbers past a million that well. That's why Mr. Beast does all these, like, giveaways with large sums of money, because basically anything past 200,000 is incomprehensible to a human brain. That's just human psychology for you. But no. 
a million dollars times a thousand is a billion, then it goes to trillion, quadrillion, quintillion, hextillion or sextillion, um, septillion, octillion, nonillion, decillion. And then there's Google, a uh, uh, Google, which is one with a hundred zeros. And I think a Googleplex is one with 10,000. I don't remember. I, I don't care to remember. Wonder what asshole fucked that up? Yeah, Julius Caesar and Augustus Caesar fucked that up. Julius, July, Augustus, August. But yeah, October, November, December were 8, 9, and 10. September was 7. Um... And I forget the whole lore behind the first, the the other months. Oh, Googleplex is 10 to the power of Google. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck. No, not today, bitch. Not today. As I stated, this number is too big for my mind to truly comprehend. It's, it's too big for anyone's mind. That's, again, human psychology. Don't feel stupid when you don't understand large numbers, because large numbers are not meant to be understandable to the human brain. Typically, the human brain can only remember, like, what? What is it, like, eight digits? So anything past eight digits is just incomprehensible to the human mind. Now, obviously, addition and subtraction with, like, five or six digits is often doable by most humans, but we also live in modern society where none of them can even do three-digit subtraction and addition. Because we live in idiocracy. Damn. Okay. Okay. I apologize for being tasteless. Tasteless. This reminds me of a certain museum I, been, I went to in D.C., This reminds me of a certain museum I went to in D.C. like eight years ago. And if you know why, you know why. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, no, advanced math you'll never use in your life unless you're one of those crazy people. The, the most you'll use in life is pre-calculus... Limits, and that's about it. This reminds me of the Auschwitz Museum. Yes! That was, that was the, that was the thing I was implying. I went to the U.S. Holocaust Museum, the National Holocaust Museum in D.C., and it looks just like that. And the smell was god-awful. I remember it. It was such an awful smell. Climb. Thank you. Jaws. Yeah, basically. You implied it, I said. Well, Auschwitz is, is it's behind a glass, fortunately. Well, yeah, don't you live, like, half an hour from there? Because I know Katowice is not far away from there, right? I think we had this conversation before. But I'm pretty sure, like, you live, like, an hour away from, from that camp. I'm scared of where to go now. Yeet. I made it. The fuck is shoe monster? What is the shoe monster doing? And why are there so many shoes? <laughs> oh, I can't move that. Damn. I guess it's been rusted onto the... Why is there a rat? Attached to a 
a pipe by its tail. And it's 50 minutes away, yeah. Oh my fucking god. I hate this bitch. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! I see. Akrat, Akrat. Yeah, shut up. You're not wrong, but yes, Akrat. Akrat. Akrats! Oh my god, there's so many Akrats! Holy hell! Look at all the Akrats! Where are you going? This is a perfectly uh, good opportunity to f throw your life away. I was not expecting Mr. Goofball to be right there. No, Ack Rats. A C K. Look at all the Ack Rats. Okay, when I when I either die or um Oh shit, I can hide here. All right. Look at all the Ack Rats. Add quote. Look at all the Ack Rats. Quote, 11.19. Payne, I'll look at that later. I don't know if you're watching, but I'll look at that later. You learned about American wire gauge and about the rule of thumb. Seriously, a thing only Americans could come up with. Here's the thing, though. I can understand wire gauge because it's just how thick the wire is. Until you get into zero watt or whatever it's called, where you go below the number zero and it just turns into absolute stupidity. Then I also don't use squares of weird fractions to determine my wire gauge. I just buy wire from Home Depot and get the lowest number I can possible because it's only like $5 more expensive for a high quality cable. And I also don't like my house burning down. <laughs> Just saying. Imagine number I. Oh, what? Fucking how? <laughs> Fucking how? Just leans over and grabs me from like a hundred feet away. Yeah, I got you, bitch. Why didn't you do that before? Square, square root of negative one, love you. The rule of thumb is so fucked, the 6th power of the 39th root of 92 is very close to 2, which leads to the rules of thumb, and and there are some rules, but fuck me, how did someone even come up with that? I don't know, man. What? Am I not allowed to leave? Am I just not allowed to leave? I guess I'm not allowed to leave. Cool.
All right, there we go. I thought the rule of thumb was just you shouldn't beat your wife with with a stick thicker than your thumb. What? Where the fuck did you hear that? <laughs> what? What kind of rule is that? <laughs> it sounds like something out of the 1800s. What the hell? <laughs> Probably from his dad. <laughs> I see. I'm not supposed to run away. Hold on. I don't like what I see over there. It could have been the case that it was the his... Wow, that's funny. Can I pull this? No, I can't. Oh, wait, I can push it. I can push it. I can push it. I can definitely push it. Dude, that's hilarious, Daniel. You know, it's even more ironic having a math teacher that was an English major. That's pretty ironic, isn't it? Oh. I see. So he almost went the uh, professor route. He knows exactly where I am at all times. Dude, that's fucking creepy. Dude, you'd be shocked at how good blind people are at their, like, at their senses of direction. I have... Oh, idle breakout. Okay, I was confused by what that was, but now I understand. Did you ever play Learn to Fly Idle? Oh. Statue. That's three of them. I don't know how many there are. I've just found three. Can I pick this up? I can. She's pretty damn capable. She just needs to monitor the size of a TV screen to be able to see anything on her computer. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Even if you're blind, like, you can still, like, make out, like, some objects and shit. Obviously, you can't use a computer screen or anything. Uh, reliably, at least. But when it comes to, like, you know, your sense of your 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 auditory senses as well as basically any other sense that isn't your vision is heightened as a result of that there's like 
that that's why there are kids out there who like when if they lose their vision early or their hearing early usually all the other senses are senses are heightened that's called uh neuroplasticity i believe is the actual term for it Thank you, psychology, for teaching me something that, uh, that is a fun fact that I'll never actually realistically use in life. Thanks! Yes! That's why. She has heightened senses and everything, uh, and basically everything else. And um, when I when I was diagnosed with uh with my autism, I also learned about that too that I had heightened senses. I don't know how to talk to people correctly, but or I guess even though I've learned how to talk to people correctly ever since then, but um, like I had uh 2015 vision when I was a kid, which is not which is not easy to have you basically you know how like that letter chart with the giant e on it if you can't read that giant e you're legally blind i could go down to i believe like the second to last line of letters which is 2015 and the line above that was 2020 How do I get around this guy? Oh, is there a ladder there? I see. Oh, I have to be careful not to touch any of this shit. Oh, what? I threw monkeys and he still went after me. Oh, wow. Immediate. <laughs> Immediate. Yeah, I think it was eight or nine I was diagnosed with uh, Asperger's Syndrome. If anybody knows what that is, you know what that is. I still use the DSM-4 for psychology terms mainly because the DSM-5 kind of sterilized shit and just kind of just made shit not matter matter and what actually mattered not matter. Um, you know, in typical American health, uh, typical American fashion. So, yeah. Oh, wow. 
Dude just knows I'm there. He just knows. He's just that good. All right, I'm going to quickly... Uh, somebody is pinging me. The, oh my god, the rap rap from your stream. Maybe you can smell your stank ass. Shut up. What did you miss? You, uh, you missed me playing with a uh, blind guy. That has insanely good sense of hearing. You also missed Ack Rat. It's the rat that uh, hangs itself by its tail as a way of killing itself. <laughs> no, it was it was put there, but it's still funny. Is it more, or is the game audio not playing? It's is it? It's quiet. It's a very quiet game. No, I did not play it. Ah, uh, his hand hit me. Damn. I still don't know how to get past this dude. I don't know where to go, like where to coax him. You don't get DMCA'd for it. No one's to claim ownership of that IP, lol. Oh, there's a door over there. I see. That's going to be a bit of a bitch to get to. Brother. I might actually need a hint here, because I don't know where to go from here. Unless I gotta go to the left side, which I don't think I do. I'm, I swear you have to go through this door.
still don't know where to go. Unless it's over there. There's a door back there. There's something in that bag, it looks like. They just kind of get knocked over, but then they stand back up automatically. Can't go up from there. Nope. Ah. Uh. Nope, I can climb that. Oh, I can. Hey. But I can't go beyond that. So where the hell do I go? Damn. He knew. I wonder if Netflix has buried the, that cuties film yet. Probably not. Because they're A-OK -okay with that shit. Yeah, people complain about it for a year or two, and then nothing happens after it. It's like everyone forgets that the company did something fucked up. Alright, so here's a problem. I don't know where to go from here.
Damn, he got close. Yeah, I'm gonna need a hint here, because I genuinely don't know what to do. Can't pick up the spinning top. Or oh, wow. Nice. Yep, immediate. Yep. Okay. I don't know how to open that door, though. I'm assuming that's what you have to do. That or climb the... Oh, hold on. No. No. I think I know... I think I know what I have to do here. I have to climb the... Cabinet. Yep, there we go. Damn. Okay. I kept thinking it was the door, but no, he goes through the door. What the hell? Did he just pull himself up to the second floor? I think he did. That's crazy, bro. Holy shit. It's time to stop collecting clocks, bucko. Oh my god, there's so many towers of books. Why? Why is there just casually three towers of books here? Sounds like a really stupid idea. Grab the doorknob. No? No doorknob? No bitches? Is it a piano? That is a piano. Just casually suspended up there. Cool. That makes perfect sense. Oh, another tower of books. There are a couple of them, actually. It's 
go to this hidden one here that I didn't see until I, you know, sh shined a light on it. If I can climb it, that'd be great. <coughs> Can I knock these down? What can I do with them? Hold on. Ah, there we go. Corner. Nope. Corner doesn't do anything. What the hell do I do here? Are them break... Are them break legs? What do I do here? Oh, I can climb this. I didn't think of that. And that's the save point. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. You invite- Oh, shit. You invite me to p jump on a piano? I'm going to jump on a piano and make goofy noises on a piano. You literally, you literally gave me the ability to do that. I'm going to do it. That is a death I would gladly take just so I can do that. If you say that in a weird enough accent, it sounds like something more fucked up. Which I know is why you said it. That's an achievement if you run along this. Now play Beethoven? Nah, I'd win. <laughs> what? How's he not hear me open my lighter? Like you would think. Also, why does he have so many books if he can't even see them? Like, why do you have books if you can't read them? There we go. A save. I need to find a crankshaft somewhere.
Another music box. There it is. Now how do I get out of here with it? Is there any way for me to get out of here? I guess not. I see the light in the loading zone is a bit too far to the left. Oh shit yourself, that's hilarious. Not gonna lie, Chief. Nothing over here. Is one of these floorboards openable? Grab this quickly. Can I break the TV screen? Probably not. No. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's a very quiet game. Don't know how to progress from here. <sighs> Take care, Daniel. You have a good night. Hold on, let me climb this. No, I can't climb that. Oh, I can. Except I can't see shit. And <laughs> that fucking hurt. There's another music box up there. Yup. I don't know what to do in there.
Because I know the crank is like three rooms to the east. Hmm. I don't want to climb it. I want to grab it. I guess I can't grab it. Can I grab these? No. Can't grab that. Can't grab that. Can I climb? Can I grab the chair at least? No. I can climb it, but I can't grab it. <sighs> Nothing here. Do I have to throw something at the button? I just realized I have to, I have to throw something at the button on that TV. Very subtle. Or that's just... Totally not creepy music. Oh my god, I barely made that. Not reaching me. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, my sister recommended I play this game, so I am. It's pretty decent, albeit a bit simple. There we go. I need to bring the cart over here. And do a, a leap of faith. Did it just yeet me into that? It did. This is the first game. I got out of the, the prison and I... If this is the janitor, then it's the janitor.
But whatever the the blind dude is, I'm on that now. Yeah, that's Jander. Yeah, I've I, I've been dealing with him. I'm hopefully almost done with him. Save point. Oh my god. What a fucking death. What a death. Holy hell. Bro got collected. His hand reaches for the pipe. I hate that you know and I don't. Oh wow, so you just gotta run. You just gotta run. Got it. This janitor sucks at cleaning. Yeah, I agree. What? Nah. Nah. Pull the cage out. Well, I have to wait. And not... Damn it. I gotta study this guy's patterns. That was the most demonic sounding no I've ever heard. Damn it.
Well, I'm also trying to study the patterns of this guy's arms. Oh my god. Not so tough without your long arms, aren't you? The lair. Alright. That's two done. Joel, approximately how far the way through am I? I'm curious. Because I've been averaging close to an hour per, I guess, chapter. Oh, he has good health care. No, he has Obamacare. He's screwed. They don't cover anything when he's at his age. Really? So what you're saying is this game... I've heard people say this is a four to six hour game. I lied! It's probably closer to like a ten hour game. Okay. The chapters only get longer. I know, Joel. I'll ask if I need help. Oh, great. We have fat ass. That guy looks like a fat ass chef. Oh, great. What am I going to eat this time? Yeah, it's queso, guys. It's queso. Why are you always hungry? Bro forgot to eat before getting sent into a nightmare. Not there. Where is it? Well, I tried interacting with the mouse trap, dude. You eat... No. 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 Bruh. <laughs> nah. Nah, dude. Nah. Nah. Bro is Chinese. Bro is... Ch no, no. Bro is Haitian. He eating the fucking cats and the rats off the street, dude. Bro is actually Haitian. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats.
I'm feeling hungry to eat a fucking rat alive. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> this definitely... Ch this meme has been approved by Little Nightmares Gang. I see we've met Queso. He looks like he's wearing a mask. I don't know if you guys saw that. There is just his skin folds are that fucked. Yeah, bro really is queso. Is that a fish head? Fish heads, fish heads. I'm not going to mention that song because it's annoying and gets really repetitive fast. Killer fish. Oh, <laughs> he probably hasn't cleaned his fa hands ever. Killer fish from San Diego. Killer fish. I don't know what I am, but I taste really good. Fuck your wine, bing bong. Bro has never exercised in his life. He eats everything he cooks. Maybe that's why he looks so demented. Bro took a cooking class in India? Yeah. You want some sewer water with cigarettes as a milkshake? Go to India. You want a you want a, a shit sandwich? Go to India. Not even kidding, by the way. Those are real things. At least Hong Kong has class. You can get fish to eat the dead skin off your feet in Hong Kong. <laughs> That's a real thing, by the way. Uh, I don't know why you would do that, but you can. You want curry with extra flies? Go to India, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Is he called, uh, is this guy called, um, Shitty Chef? Bro doesn't know how to breathe through his nose. He goes,
I need to find a key somewhere. You said hamburger with fries and they gave you a hamburger with flies. Yeah, that's India. I need to find this fucking key, dude. It's not at the killer fish from San Diego, that's for sure. It wouldn't be on him, would it? I doubt it. Well, it's gonna be a while. looks like a fucking dumpling. He really does. Did you see his animation glitch out there? He was just... <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. That was funny. No. Killer fish from San Diego. I don't know what I am, but it tastes really good. Am I glitched in there? Uh, guys. Oh, shit. What? You become fish. Yeah, he stuffs me into the fish, yeah. I need to find this key. Where? A key! What? A key! Donde? A key! Get it? I'm funny, I swear. Oh. Oh. I get to join the cutting board there. Climb, but where? Man, he is dumb. About as dumb as they come.
What the fuck is he doing? You can't eat the lantern, dummy. Do I have to climb up to that? Uh-huh. So I was heading the right direction, I just didn't think of it. Got it. Who the fuck threw this pottery at me? Nah, he's too stupid. I was about to fall there. Should mention I'm playing this on a keyboard. Fibsh. Hey Hunter, it's Fibsh. It's a lot of Fibsh head. Swear to God, if I see a head come out of one of those, I'm going to I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to just never play this game ever again. There's two of them. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense now. Oh my god. They're both lard asses. Chronic lard asses. We have Queso 1 and Queso 2. Mr. President, a small child hit the second chef. Ow. My legs have both been shattered. So now I know why, or what their names are, because they quite literally are twin chefs. Both are fat asses. Okay. Explain why I can't climb that. Explain. That's kind of stupid. Why won't you climb the door? How do these beds support them? And why do they sleep right next to each other? That's kind of weird. They ain't ten. Yeah, I get it. It's a box, but you would think you'd be able to push it. Maybe I'm thinking too logically here. Oh, God. Mm, I keep doing that. Nope, I can't grab that. That's the light switch. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Dude. This is starting to aggravate me. I'm just gonna go out. I see. Oh, hello there! I do, Lord. percent sure the key's up there. Well, fuck me, I guess. Is it in the twins' room? I just realized. They shit together? <laughs> what? You sleep together. You shit together. What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? Hey guys, don't drop the soap. Ha ha ha. You don't shit with your significant other. Oh, uh, no. Especially when he's my twin. That's even more fucked. At least a face doesn't come out of it. A Half-Life 2 player model doesn't come out of it. No, Don, that's shitting in a street. That's where you're wrong. I still can't believe Moot's a hard left Twitter because people are, like, m posting India memes, making fun of how they shit in the streets. Bro got, like, no chill. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of just weak. No, Jasic, that's L.A., Don, I, I never asked, are you actually in, like, the L.A. region? So, I don't know, I don't know what's worse, SF or L.A. I don't know what's worse. Oh, I see it. Bonk. No, I don't live near LA, thank goodness. Chicken. As a lifetime resident of NorCal, Nor LA is worse. I still can't believe LA is getting the, the Olympics in four years. Like, how did they get that? The fact they have that makes no sense. They're probably going to have, like... 10 times the amount of drag queens with their balls hanging out on camera as Paris did. Let's be honest. He only makes some noise. And I can't forget the having like kids there in, in their presence as well. You can't forget that. Just like the Paris one. Jesus Christ. I used to love the Olympics as a kid, and now they're ruined.
but you have homeless people and aspiring actors with no real future. Yeah. That's basically all LA is. Oh, and prostitutes. Can't forget the prostitutes. Those are the most important part. Perfect. At least we have money from an industry that only benefits from child labor, not child abuse. Well, you also have an industry that profits off of uh, celebrities that enjoy uh, going to P. Diddy parties, which definitely didn't involve children at all. I don't know what you're talking about. And it's even more shocking when you find out who's on those lists that went to those parties. It's even more shocking. But then it all makes sense once you realize it. Oh, I was referring to California as a whole, dude. Sorry. Wasn't, like, Obama invited to those P. Diddy parties? Like, that's a red flag. I can't grab that. I can't grab the knife. I don't know. You're going to have to make a death, a death counter. Oh boy, it's a sausage factory. Oh, don't tell me. For a second, I thought that was, like, those kids, but it probably is those kids anyway. Oh. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Hmm. You kidding me? I have to make a sausage rope. A dumb waiter, hey. Those are goofy. Cold fucking room in here. Damn. No. 
I don't like Arby's. I find it disgusting. And then again, I just don't like lunch meat. I find lunch meat kind of mid. If I want to eat meat, it's not going to be pig. It's going to be cow or chicken. I just don't like pig. Unless it's bacon. If it's bacon, I'm fine with it. But if it's like pork, I just don't care about pork. There's your hot take for the night. <laughs> if I want to eat meat, it's either going to be a steak, a burger, a chicken, or bacon. I just don't care for pork, especially lunch meat pork, like ham. Ham is kind of shit. You eat pork? Isn't that against... Or no, that's Muslim. Is it also Judaism that forbids pork, or is or am I full of shit? It's against Jews, but oh, okay, yeah. So it's it's not only Islam, but it's Judaism as well that forbids uh ham. That's what he thought. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I'd rather ask the guy who's actually Jewish in chat. <laughs> but that also, do, like, doesn't that make you like a sinner or something for eating? pig or what I, I don't know again I'm asking the stupidest questions but I'm also asking the questions I'm curious and want answered my Jewish friend gave me her lunch the other day after she found pork in it so so Don what you're telling me is um I get a bunch of business executives and take them to an Arby's and force them to eat we do a little trolling. We do a little trolling. Yeah, something about kosher. I forget exactly all that shit, but I know, like, some some Jewish people have, like, two different uh, kitchens in a household. One for kosher and one for not. I know that's a thing. And it's like a status symbol and all that. Hydrox went through kosherization to get collab money. The hell is dairy product? Dairy product just means like cheese, butter, milk, anything that comes from a cow, essentially. That's essentially what quote unquote dairy product is. I think I didn't need to come up here. Oh, diary product. Oh, 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 I implied that was dairy and my mind just filled that gap in. I didn't see dairy pro or a diary product. Oh my God. Holy shit. That makes it so much funnier. Yeah, there needs to be a third piece of meat there. <laughs> Let me go back up. Ha. Huh. I never would have seen that, but I saw like a black silhouette. You can't have your pudding? No. QP will uh, destroy you if she says that she can't have pudding. <laughs> She's looking right at me. For those that are curious, yes, I did buy a QP plushie. 
because I support the devs of a game that I enjoy. Even though it cost me 60 bucks, it was probably more worth it than a Nintendo game at this rate. Swing. That's some janky ass swing animations. Into another cold room. Yeah, you want to swing on my meat? <laughs> Things you'd never want to hear me say again for 200. <laughs> Deja vu. Kinda. <laughs> well, swing is a music genre. Caravan Palace is a really uh, good band that does swing music. Uh, electro swing mainly, but a lot of swing in general. Highly recommend listening to them if you like swing. No, what a swing on my meat is what I said, not that Don. Shut the fuck up. At least quote it correctly, Don, you fuck. This is a bucket. Dear God, there's more. You know what would be a good Toy Story spinoff? A story about the life of a Funko Pops living in their Soy Jack consumer owner's house? That would be funny. That would be pretty funny. But instead we got Funko Fusion. <laughs> Remember that game at that Nintendo Direct? Funko Fusion? Yeah, we got that instead. Enjoy! Consumers. And instead we got Forky. And instead we're getting a fifth fucking movie in that fr Oh! <laughs> I didn't even notice he was right there. I didn't even realize he was right there. Don't remember what. Ah, uh -huh. get blocked, bitch. Except now I know he's gonna immediately come after me. How does you not see this giant glowing light coming out of this tunnel? The fuck is that? Is that a hog? Jesus, dude. Chill the fuck out.
How do you not see me, brother? Fibsh. There we go. Oh shit, I'm dead. How did you see me, dude? How do you see me? I was behind a wall. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> I would like for you to go under that. Or you can just not. That's also cool. Oh, yeah. He's definitely got a mask on. No. Okay, how did you see me there, buddy? You had to walk through a freaking wall to do that. Go in. Can't grab that. I can grab that, though. Into the trash. Trash! I'm the trash man. And I eat trash. Pretty sure that's a Danny DeVito reference. They do sound like apes. Chad, would you guys be interested in a, uh... Brothership pre-release gameplay. I mean, I have it. I might as well play it. 
for free. And see how fucking awful it is. Just do it, yeah. We've been waiting. All right. Well, here's the thing. I had this plan beforehand, and I had a, the bunker plan beforehand. I wasn't expecting... I genuinely was not expecting the game to leak until, like, around today or sometime later this week. But it leaked 14 days before release. You've never been in this trash room? <laughs> well, there's a collectible in it. You can't. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of here. I'm afraid I'm a bit stuck. What do you mean, hats? Because I've seen a bunch of, like, little hat guys running around. Yeah, I don't know where to go. I'm, like... Oh. Huh. Don't know why you'd be able to climb those, but all right. You and I seem to find out the exact same time. Bro, they're making a giant fucking mess. I have a feeling there's more to this. There is, but it's graded off. Tower of Dishes. How did you not see me, brother? You stupid! Uh, what? You guys saw that too, right? My head phased through the wall. 
This game, man. I'm telling you, I'm good at breaking it. I'm insanely good at breaking it. Why aren't you turning the lever back off? Bozo. It made those meat hooks move. I know. Question is, how do I get up to them? Can't climb that. The music just cut. That cup. I can't get up there, dude. Because this is blocked off. Yeah, you can hide in the bubbles. Neat. Oh, and you get like bubble foam on you. That's kind of cute. Well, what about the dishes? You can't step on them. Hey, you can't step on them, dude.
Okay. Well, that explains a lot. Again, how did you not see me? Great. I have to wait. I'm not going to run out and let him catch me. Can't do that either. Why are these plungers sticking up? That's not how a plunger works. Oh. The leaning tower dishes is a ladder, isn't it? I'm disappointed. Nice. Cool story, bro. How did you not see me? Bro is just that dumb. Damn, Queso can't reach. Damn it! Oh, I see. So the Mihooks go above the room. Yeah, did you see that?
please tell me there's one more opened grate here. There is. Lime. God damn, dude. At least he's washing his hands, kinda. Bye, bitch. Oh, come on. Damn. I was still analyzing my surroundings there. Yeah, I was... Two of them under one table was going to be an instant catch. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, I glitched into a plate there. I glitched into a plate there. Are you sure about that, Joel? You sure about that? This is a chase one. Don't stop running. He outpaces me. What? There we go. Who <laughs> threw a bottle at me? All right, the kitchen. All right. That's going to be it for me. I think three chapters is enough for tonight. But I've averaged, like, you know, an hour and eight minutes per one. So you beat my time, you might be 50% done now. So what you're telling me is, Joel... That, the, that, 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 that took me three and a half hours to do, by the way. But yeah, um... I'm gonna head out, guys. Thank y'all for being here. This is a pretty fun game. I've enjoyed it. Um, a little bit simple, I'd argue. Uh, simple by, like, you know, puzzle definition. But, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. That was a good, um, a good first look at that game. Thank you all for being here. Have a great night. Happy Halloween. My favorite holiday. Happy Halloween, y'all. Stay savage. And, uh, I'm voting tomorrow. I want you to vote as well. Make sure to vote. Because, uh, yeah. If you're an American, please vote. I'd appreciate it.
you all take care. I'll see you all later today. And uh, who knows, you might see me vlog while I go to the poll. I don't know. Have a good night. Bye.